Within these prison walls is a testing ground for a pioneering project never before tried in Africa. About 30 Boko Haram suspects are involved. This inmate has undergone months of de-radicalization counseling. Last time we met, that would be like uh, a week plus now. From that last week to now, I want to know how you have been feeling. Have you been sleeping well? He claims to be a changed man. I have benefited immensely from this program from the onset. When I first came, I would have nothing to do with women. I did not relate with staff or with people. I was withdrawn. But this program has made me realize that interacting with people is the best way to live. Drug addiction is a prominent reason why people join Boko Haram. I start taking India Haram when I'm in SS1. That's 2009. These men, who not so long ago thought that Western education is a sin, now participate in art therapy classes. A central tenant to the de-radicalization program is reteaching Islam. Specially trained imams challenge extremism with arguments from the Quran. You have to give them hope. After giving them hope, you have to use substantial superior evidence to counter their radical ideology. The hope is that this program can be rolled out to thousands of former fighters in prisons here and even beyond Nigeria.